this is Warlord. Today we're going to take a look at converting a spaceship from DAS going through 3D Exchange for use in iClone. Now we're going to animate it directly in iClone using the prop animation tool. And 3D Exchange is actually just an in and out process. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're in DAS 4.6 and I'm going to look for the shuttlecraft and it's an actor. Just double click on it. And all we're wanting to do is file, export. You're going to export FBX, new folder. I'm just making one for this so it'll be easier to find. Shuttle. Now, it's set to import figures. And this is a figure. This is actually an actor. And I'm just going to leave it. If there's no animations, if you're not sure if there's animations or more, just leave it because that can be taken out later if it's a problem. So I'm just going to leave that. I'm going to accept it. And we're just going to sit here. And look. Now, it's finished and we're actually through with DAS. That's all we need DAS for. So, now I'm in 3D Exchange and this is Pipeline version. I'm going to open the shuttle. If you're not sure, again, if it has animation or not, just leave it checked. We can remove that later. Now, this is going to take a while to import, probably actually over a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and cut away and then come back after it's imported. Now, here we are back and it's imported. And it did take a long time to import. A minute, minute and a half can seem like forever. But just do something else, wait it out, come back, and then here you have it. Now, we're not going to do anything else from here except to remove the animation because there isn't any animation in this. The way you would check that would be to select that animation, press your run button, or just drag the slider. But there's not really any animation in it, so let's just delete it all. Do it out of the top one, and that takes it completely out of your model. Now, all we're going to do now is go over and we're going to export to iClone. And I am going to be putting this into my miscellaneous folder. I'm going to call it shuttle. And it may take a bit for it to export it, but it's not going to be too bad. Now we're finished with 3D Exchange. Now we're ready to come in in 64-bit iClone, is what I'm in here. Come into the miscellaneous tab. And let's look for shuttle. Right there, double click. It may take a while to load it as well. You got to remember these are high poly, so that's why we're using the 64 bit. You may not be able to put a lot of characters and other things in it, but if you're talking about a space scene, you don't some necessarily have to have a lot of things. You may be out in open space where you just have stars or a background. And you can also use this up against 2D backgrounds. Okay. Now there we are. Everything's intact. It looks good. Now let's take a look at how to animate it. Now the most difficult thing to animating a prop, uh, particularly a DAS prop, is they have so many different bones in them. So we're in, we're under props, and we're just going to come over here and click Edit Animation Layer. And this is going to open up and give us access to these bones. So the really biggest problem you're going to have is figuring out which bone opens what if they didn't at least uh, give you some kind of uh, labeling to go by. In this case, uh, this is labeled pretty well. So let's go ahead and we're just going to move the timeline down a little. Let's say we want to move the landing gear up. What we have to do is find that landing gear. There's nose gear. I'm not going to be real precise for this. There's our left gear, our right gear. And that's really all there is to animating those types of things. We can come along here and say we decide we want to animate the door. Well, let's see. Here it is. Left top door. Go back. Let's go back to the beginning. And let's open it. And left step door. Let's close it. Now let's play it. And as you can see, that's that's all there is to it. What you're going to have to do to time this is go into your timeline. And now this says root node because that's the way, that's what it's named when it comes out of 3D Exchange. You can come in right here and rename it to shuttle or whatever you want to call it. 
But now in order to come in here and change anything, uh, what you have to do is find which place on the timeline those changes took place. So we'll take a look at animation and you can see some key frames here. Now you're animating several bones with one timeline, so that can be a little bit problematic. Uh, some things are going to happen together unless you come in and set a keyframe um, in some case. Like if you don't want them to open and close at the same time. You're not going to have, I don't think, a separate timeline for each bone. At least I can't find one. But you can eventually work out all the different things that you're doing by just paying attention to where you are on the timeline. If you want the door to start closing a little later than it is, then you would want to move down the timeline some. And you would want to add a keyframe to that door. Make sure you have the door selected. Add a keyframe, and then there you would have your door, a place for it to start. That's just something you're going to have to experiment with. But a lot of things in Daz can be animated in iClone. You just have to go through 3D Exchange to do it. And there's really not that much to it. Thanks for watching.